Fred Molson in the builder category. Opened the Petawawa Ski Hill in 1958. Formed the Petawawa Ski Club in 1960. Operated the ski hill for over 59 years. Hi, I'm Ken Reed, one of Canada's Crazy Connects in Skiing. I want to congratulate Fred Molson for being inducted into the Petawawa Sports and Entertainment Hall of Fame. Fred, you've provided the people of Petawawa and the Ottawa Valley skiing enjoyment for over 59 years, which is just absolutely remarkable. Congratulations for the tremendous contribution you've made to the community, and congratulations for this remarkable honor of being inducted into Petawawa Sports and Entertainment Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Fred. Hi, Fred. Congratulations on being inducted into the Petawawa Hall of Fame as contributor and builder to the community so well deserved. Fred, seeing you receive this award means a lot to me. Mount Molson changed the path of my life. So once again, congratulations. Gratefully, thankfully, sincerely, Tracy Ann and Robichaux. Hello Fred, this is Kathy Kreiner, 1976 Olympic gold medalist in alpine skiing, giant slalom and a good friend of one of your members, Tracy Ann and Robichaux. We were teammates back in the 70s. I understand you're being inducted into the Petawawa Sports Hall of Fame for your development of Mount Olson in Petawawa. I just want to congratulate you on that and that's an amazing honor to make such a difference in your own community. Well done and congratulations. Fred Molson. I would like to call Lane Patterson to the podium, please, to make the presentation. Uh, Sean, you forget to mention that uh, Hector skied. And if you want to see something funny, you want to see a helmet and a set of goggles coming through a mogul field. <laughs> anyway, congratulations to all the inductees. It's my honor and privilege to to present Fred as an inductee in the builder category and his contribution to skiing in Petawawa. As you know, Fred developed the area fondly known as Mount Molson. He cut trees, brush, groomed, maintained the area for 59 years. Because of his efforts with the mountain, thousands of kids and adults learned how to ski and ski race on that mighty little slope. But it was the subtle contributions that were made because of his efforts. And I would like to just make you aware of some of them. First of all, the total number of skiers that learned to ski at that area were literally in the thousands. The laughter and the exhilaration of watching a kid on his first run. The development of club zone, divisional, provincial, national, and international elite athletes who all came off of that little slope. The, num the number of CSIA, that's Canadian Ski Instructors, and Canadian Ski Coaching uh, Federation members that developed their skills on that slope and came back not only to teach, but to coach the kids. The successes they had were many, and many of them are within this group here tonight. And to add, as I said earlier, it was the laughter and the acceleration, just watching the kids on that slope. And think about this, Fred. When you heard an instructor say, great turn, let's take another run. Let's see if we can improve it. Or from a coach. Look ahead. That was great. Watch your line. Turn a little higher. Or coach, I was flying, but I crashed. What happened? The reply from the coach was generally, hey, you skied the top section beautifully. Take a couple of free runs, shake off the crash, 
Come back and see the coach in a few minutes. We'll talk about it. Remember the night race, Fred, when the officials were very busy setting courses, timing, preparing, and that familiar sound, racer number one in the gate, racer ready, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, go. And some kid would launch him either to glory or disaster. It was really a lot of fun to hear the parents cheering these kids on. And Fred, because of your efforts, this is what you helped create, and we're all thankful for that outstanding effort. It was you and that slope who created all of that fun and happiness for many, many people. And I just have a, a small anecdote, well actually two, that I'd like to share with you. Back in, the, uh, in my early days of skiing, uh, my head coach, J.P. Pichet, Jim Pichet, he was the national team uh, uh, coach. He represented Canada. He came up and he said, he stood at the top of the hill and he said, is this where you and Clyde learned how to ski? I said, yeah, Jim, this is where we did it. Well, he said, uh, how many gates can you set here? Uh, we said, 10 or 12 on a good day. R really? He said, yeah. I said, Jeep, you got to remember, we can make 100 to 200 runs a day on this thing. So, <laughs> and an another story I'd like to share with you. There was a group of us up at Mount Trondle one time, Petawawa Ski Club, but we had Molson's tattooed, or not tattooed, but uh, embroidered on our turtlenecks. We were in the bar, and of course, on the table are all sorts of Molson's products. Anyway, the people at another table kept looking at us. Finally, one of them came over and they said, uh, you, you people are from Mount Molson. We said, yeah. Well, where is that? Well, we said, we really can't reveal it to you because it's, a, it's an exclusive area. I said, with a limited number of people, and it's certainly not a destination re resort. And they kept it up, they kept going and finally going. Finally, uh, they, the, the last question was simple. Uh, does the Molson family still own it? We said, oh yeah, it still belongs to the Molson family. <laughs> Some, somewhere in Montreal, there's a money group who is wondering if they could possibly get into this group up here. Anyway, Fred, I have a message, first of all, from uh, Clyde Marston. I'd, I'd like to read to you if I can find it. It says, congrats to you, Fred. What a great lifelong achievement and contribution to skiing as an original 1960-61 and proud member of the Petawawa Ski Club. I would like to let everyone know how much work Fred put into developing the sport in the Ottawa Valley. He built the hill, put in the rope toe, and ran the operation two nights and two days every week, all winter long. There were lots of us kids who learned to ski and race there, and then went on our lives but always involved, we were always involved in skiing. And we, we never forgot how lucky we were to go up skiing in Petawawa. Fred, thanks for all of us and the lifetime of fun and sport we've had. Best regards, Clyde Marston. I would like to now call Tracy Ann and Robichaud to the stage, please. great honor to present this on behalf of a skiing legend who won uh, gold medals in the 1968 Grenoble Olympics, went on to have a ski program for young racers across Canada named after her, uh, developed uh, two lodges, one at Whistler and one currently at Sun Peaks. Um, this woman is Nancy Green Rain, who currently um, or was a senator in the, in the uh, uh, Senate and has just recently retired. Um, but before she retired, she heard the news about Fred Molson and would like to give him a congratulations certificate from the Senate. And it reads, congratulations, Fred Molson. 
for being inducted into the Petawawa Hall of Fame. You and your wife, Edna, have inspired generations to become lifelong skiers. I salute you and wish continued success for the Petawawa Ski Club. Nancy Green Rain, Senator. Um, I'd just like to mention, in the office we Googled Mount Molson, and the first thing that she saw was that there is a, a school close by, and the first question she asked me was, do those kids go across the street and go skiing during school hours? So that's something for the town of Petawawa that's a little bug in your ear um, because it's a wonderful program. And in Sun Peaks, where she, um, her and her husband have incorporated as a town, the kids in Sun Peaks ski up a T-bar and chairlift to go to school. So Fred, congratulations. Uh, Fred, you are most deserving of, this, of these prestigious awards, and it has been an honor for me to present them to you. One last quote, Fred. Thanks for the memories, buddy. Good job, Dane. This is yours. Good job.